Hey, and welcome to this tutorial of using the ESP8266 Queen LED module with Demotics. Queen LED itself is a pretty, well, dumb module, I guess I could say. It's only capable uh, to, of dimming your lights when it receives a command. And while you could, could go about of scripting a shell script to do certain lights at certain times, etc., it's much easier to use an open source Demotica system, which has all kinds of triggers and switches and stuff built in. So I started looking at Demotics, I think two years ago now, and Demotics was a good fit. It has a very nice web interface. It has a Lua code I could hook into, and um, it also has an Android and iOS app. So this tutorial will be about installing Demotics and then configuring a Quinn LED module in Demotics. Now, you might need a little bit of Linux knowledge, but I'll have a blog post in the description below detailing all the commands you will need to do. I'm going to be using a virtual machine because well, you can run it on a Raspberry Pi or a physical machine or a virtual machine as I am doing. And as operating system, I'm going to be using Fedora 25 Server Edition. Why Fedora? Well, normally I'm a Ubuntu guy, but at work we're doing more stuff with Red Hat and Fedora is a kind of a Red Hat variant. And so I wanted to challenge myself, so I chose Fedora. Uh, if you have any questions uh, that rise up during the tutorial or something I don't explain enough, uh, also let me know in the comments or in the comments on my blog post. For all the commands, I will be copy and pasting most of them. Um, you'll be able to find the those exact commands on my blog so you can repeat those steps and build your own Demotic server. So, let's get started. Oh, I had some comments on some tutorial stuff I did before with screen captures. So now, let's uh, basically uh, make this smaller and move it into the edge of the screen. And let's create a new terminal window. There. I hope that's clear enough. So, first we need to SSH to the specific client. I think it's this IP. Yep, there we go. And um, first step we need to do is basically install packages that we're going to be using during the install. We're going to be downloading Demotics from its GitHub. And GitHub is a repository for programming people, I guess, where they keep their latest code. And you can download this code and then compile Demotics yourself. So let's uh, do this complete line. Yep. It wants to download 72 megabytes, that's fine. So through the magic of video stuff, this will go very fast on my screen. And it's complete. So the next step we need to do is we need to open some firewall ports we'll be using in the future. So the first port is the normal HTTP port Demotics will use. There we go. And the second port is the HTTPS port Demotics will use. Now we're not using 4, uh, 443, which is the normal HTTPS port, because uh, Fedora doesn't really like you doing that and you'd have to run it as a uh, user who, which has root permissions and stuff like that. We don't want to do that. so. I basically only use the HTTP port anyway. After we add those lines, we need to restart the firewall. Okay. And then we're going to add a user under which we'll be running Domotics. So let's uh, call this user a very inspirational name, Domotics. And let's give this user a password because we want to log in as, a, as the user itself. Now, think of a password. 
there we go so whenever I'm installing in Linux I like to install my software in the opt directory uh, but you can choose any directory you like uh, the guide should still work so as I mentioned before, uh, the Domotics source code is on the GitHub. So let's download the latest copy of that source code. Depending on your internet speed, that takes a little while. There we go. So now that the downloading from the GitHub is complete, we want to basically compile uh, the source code into a program. We want to do that as the Demotics user, but if we look at the directory right now, the Demotics directory that was created from the GitHub is owned by root. So we need to change that. And we're changing that to the Domotics user. So now the Domotics user is allowed to enter this folder and manipulate and run in it, etc. So now let's become the Domotics user. And use the password you specified earlier. And let's see which folder we're in. Okay, we're still in opt, so let's go to Demotics. And let's see what we have here. Okay. So the next thing to do is run a CMake command. This basically prepares you, or prepares the system for the source code to be built. And if you have all the right packages, it should complete successfully and say build files have been written to opt domotics. Great. So now we do a make. And depending on the amount of physical and or logical cores your machine has that you're using, this minus J4 should match that. So if you have a hyper threading i7, it's eight. Or if you have an i5, it's mostly four or well, whatever you have, make sure you get the right number. If you don't get the right number, it doesn't really matter. It just goes faster or slower during the compile. Okay, let's uh, speed this up again using the magic of video editing. So this process can take a little while. The nice thing of Demotix is, as I said, it has the interface you can use on your phone or your tablet or your computer in a web browser. But it's also compatible with a lot, a lot of different devices. So even if you have um, different type of switches or motion sensors or Z-Wave stuff or um, you know those cheap things you buy at the at the store where you can just switch on and switch off a light using an air effects cob. You can combine all those, and one of those buttons could actually turn on a Quinlet, or vice versa. We could build a sensor device using an ESP eighty two sixty six, and it could send commands to Demotics to do something else. And well, you can make it as 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 complicated as you want, I guess. For me, one of the things I'm going to be building in the future, I'm going to have under rail lighting on my stairs and all the preparations for that are done. But I also want to use motion sensors. But then if I trigger the motion sensor at eight o'clock at night, I want the lights to go on 50% for, for instance, and for five minutes. But if I trigger the motion sensor at three o'clock at night, because I'm going to the bathroom, I want it to light up like 10% or 15%. And I want it to stay on three minutes or 10 minutes or one minute or whatever. And using Domotics and the power that it has, all these things are possible. Where the Quinn LED or Quinn LED, sorry, LED is Dutch. The Quinn LED module itself, well, it doesn't do anything like that. You tell it what to do and it does that. And until you tell it to do anything else, it won't do anything else. 
So it's a good, it's a great fit, and I've been using this combination for years. This also makes that my girlfriend also understands the system. She can turn on and off the lights, uh, all the buttons work, and yeah. So I can really recommend doing this. So as I said, I'm using a Fedora 25 server. It's just installed as a minimal system and all the packages and everything you need I have in the little uh, line that we did uh, to start with. So basically anyone should be able to do this themselves. But if you run into trouble, let me know down below. Okay, compiling is done. So let's check our directory again. Okay, that's good. And let's do a test start of the Bodex and see if it works. So it's going to bind to port 443 because we didn't give it the command line switch to bind to the different port. The auto start and stop script will do that. So we're just going to test the HTTP port right now. So here is my browser. And let's see if it works. And there we have it, Demotics. And for as far as I can see, that's the newest version. And let's look at the log. Okay, let me just make this a bit bigger for you. There we go. And that looks good. That looks like the same as we saw in our terminal screen. So let's shut that down again, just to hit Control C. Okay. And now we, of course, we want to have Demotics automatically start when we start the server. So let's make it a server, a service. So we need to exit the Demotics user so that you're back in your normal user, which is on the Sudoris list. So it can become an admin because the Demotics user cannot become an admin. And I use an editor called Joe, but you can use any editor you'd like. And I do a sudo so that the files will be created as root. Okay. There we go. And again, this is some uh, copy pasting. So we're building the uh, Demotics service. It's going to be running under the Demotics user and the Demotics group. Here we have the HTTP and the HTTPS port number. The working directory we installed Demotics in. If you're installing it in a different directory, you have to change this. And uh, again, the directory and some other startup stuff. So let's save that. And then we have to do a reload of system CTO because we created a new service file. There we go. Then we need to enable the mnemonic service. Okay, it's created a symlink. That's good. And then we should be able to start it. There we go. So let's check if that worked. I can already see from the time that it worked, but I should be able to click around and, yep. Seems to be working fine. So now we can also test the HTTPS port. Okay, it's telling me my certificate isn't valid. Well, I know that. Okay, and as it seems, HTTPS is also working. Yep, it's our new connection, so that's good. So, Domotics is working. Um, just to be sure, let's try a reboot and see if Domotics automatically comes back. Oh, wait, I'm not allowed to reboot, of course. 
have to sudo that. Okay, so my SSH session has disconnected. And if I quickly refresh this, as you see, it's connecting and uh, it's not really working. Okay, let's give it a few seconds. And there we have it. It's back. Yep, started. Looks good. So that's basically it. Now you configured your own Demotic server with the newest version on a Fedora 25 server edition. Um, as I, oh, I didn't say in the beginning, but I meant to say, I guess you could consider this part one and part two will be configuring a Quinn LED with Demotics. So let's get right into that. <laughs>